Hey, good evening, family. This is Robert Sells. Um, and I'm coming to you with a, another word from the Lord. And this one is coming from Luke, the 8th chapter, and the 43rd and the 44th verse. And actually, I'm going to start a little bit halfway through the 42nd verse. It says, as Jesus was on his way, the crowds almost crushed him. And a woman who was there, who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years, but no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak and immediately her bleeding stopped. And what a blessing that was that, you know, here's a woman who had been, you know, she'd been suffering for a long time. I mean, years with this issue of blood. And, you know, she was basically ostracized from, from everyone else. So she spent all of her money on doctors and trying to get all kinds of healings and whatever she could find to fix this until she heard that Jesus was there and she had seen or she had heard of the miracles that he had performed so she decided to do whatever she had to do and the crowds were very thick but she knew she had to get to him why because she knew that he held the answer to the one thing that had been uh, bothering her for the last 12 years so she made her way through the crowds and all she needed to do was touch his garment and when she did, she was immediately healed. You know, and many times in our lives, we go through things, sometimes for years. And sometimes what we miss is while we're looking for all these other solutions, that the one solution that we have that is the best solution is Jesus Christ. And we ignore it, though. You know, so we go to the bottle, we go to drugs, we go to getting involved with the wrong person or the wrong group of people or uh, taking the wrong job, starting the wrong business, you know, starting a ministry at the wrong moment. You know, we do so many things that we shouldn't be doing when the one thing we should be doing is talking with God and asking him, what is his path for us? And, you know, this woman who had suffered so much and she had sacrificed everything she had to try to get some solution for this thing, but she couldn't find anything until she realized the answer was in Jesus Christ. And for many of us, it's the same way. All we have to do is go to Christ with that thing that is bothering us, that thing that has been uh, hindering us from moving forward. All we have to do is ask him. You know, sometimes let's face it, we don't want to ask him because we just don't want to know the answer. And, and usually that's because we already know the answer. We just don't, we just don't want to hear it. So open yourself up, allow yourself to be open to God so he can teach you, direct you, and show you the way in which you need to go. When that happens, when you do this, you will begin to see God doing some amazing things through you. You will begin to see him at work in you like never before. So trust God because through everything that you've been through, guess what? God has the answer for it. Go to Jesus get the answer, and then move forward with that thing that God has called you to do and set yourself up in position to receive the promises of God. God bless you all and have a wonderful day.